are going to be resilvering some discs. So I have eight discs in total, and I'm going, I got two two terabytes in there still, and all the rest are three terabytes. So these Seagate Constellation ES3s are going to be what replaces, you know, uh, the Seagate, you know, two terabytes. Now, came up with this guy. It's not the most beautiful uh, cable in the world, but it'll get the job done. So one thing I, uh, we also have to do is we got to check to make sure that auto expanding is on. You know, we also got to verify that nothing's being resilvered, which it shouldn't be. But you know, hey, that's what the guide says: is you should check to make sure it's not being resilvered. So I will definitely do that. And then. Um, Last but not least, we've got to do some shell commands, and then we should be uh, we should be good to go. Um, I'm gonna shut her down. Stick these guys in here. Just hand tighten them. Oh, nothing crazy. Of course, I got the wrong threads. I thought these are machine threads, but uh, just keeps the board up off the the thing. It will slide around really easy, so be careful when you're doing something like this. And I could put it in a tray, but we don't have an extra one, so I just like to do. You know, I don't like stand up. You could rip a piece of cardboard or whatever, but. You know, for saving time, I got a whole thing of screws that I never use, and uh, it just seems like it makes sense to give a little bit extra protection. So it just kind of keeps it that keeps the board up and off the the server rack. Of course, we are going to spin up here, so. I want to make sure we're not going to be uh, walking all around. Let's power our uh, wonderful server back up here. If I can find the darnish holes. Of course it's going to sound like we're starting Air Force One here. I have to do a full clean with this thing later. It's getting awfully dusty. Does not like that it has cover off. Up and uh, we're golden here. Yeah, my penmanship is not that great. Green ass, free air. Let's see if we can do some damage. So, brought you back to my main PC. And let's see if we can navigate to the free man. I will be right back because, you know, uh, I just don't feel like sharing my passwords with you. Okay, there we go. We are uh, in business. So let's see if uh, our drive is showing up under volumes. What I like to do is you're going to do view disks. And the reason I do this is so you can come in and, okay, DA1 and DA2 are my two terabytes that I want to resilver. So I'm going to take the last four, as long as they don't, they're not matching or anything close. So I write DA1, Echo Delta Zulu Charlie, two terabyte, and that's on a notepad piece of paper. Okay, so I'm 
All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm gonna show you some stuff here in the FreeNAS GUI really quick. Uh, go ahead and click Storage, and then you are going to click View Disks, and this is where you might want to have a piece of paper and pen handy. Um, you might want to pause the video right here, but this is uh, if you are doing the resilver task, you're gonna want to find your serial number and name and size, and then you're gonna want to write all that stuff down. The reason you want to do that is once you go to the physical machine, you can pull that disk out and verify that that's the serial number and disk that you want to replace once the resilvering task has been completed. Um, second is you you're gonna want to also do this. So just go to shell. And uh, I always change the size because it's just horribly inaccurate and makes things all jumbled and garbled. So I'm going to type in zpool, I don't know why I always put a second L there, status. And then I, that's going to output some information, which is going to be, that is going to output some information to me that is kind of relevant. So I'm going to look here and I see that, it, you know, it's got my resilvering, you know, scanning information it's got my config name of my pools and volumes it's got uh you know read write check some errors it's also got errors of anything that happened it's happened in the past it'll also have errors for your pool for your boot partition you know and scrubs on your boot partition which is right here the other wonderful thing is you know that's that read write and check some error checks that uh it does for your boot partition all right guys go to storage you're going to click on, uh, oh, wrong guy, that guy, you know, uh, ZFSRZ is what I named my lovely pool. Then do volume status. And then, of course, I got two different pools here. This is the original one, and I didn't uh, feel like adding more disks to that. So, because I had three disks, I had one three terabyte and two terabyte, two to two terabytes that I planned on resilvering later, I added them to get more space at the time. So, um, the first two terabyte is Delta Alpha 1, and then my second one is Delta Alpha 2. We are just going to concentrate on this dude for this minute right here. You know, uh, and then, so our next step is going to be to hit replace. And then it's going to ask us, replacing disk BA1, and then it says member disk ADA 1 3.0. So I forgot to write something down. I'm pretty 100% sure that that is our new disk. No, nope, that's our new disk. ADA 1, 2 terabyte, hit replace, and it's going to say replacing disk BA1, and then our member disk is going to be ADA Alpha Delta Alpha 1 and then 3 terabyte. I'm going to hit replace disk. <clears throat> going to do some mumble mumble jumble and it's going to initiate the disk replacement. Now, I could show you the active logs and this is what it's going to look like. Now, if you want to check what it is doing, because it just doesn't happen, you know, in 30 seconds, it's, it's a Task that does take a good, excuse me, amount of time. So we're going to come over here to the shell. I hate this stock size. So I bump it up to 132 by 43. Copy and paste that. And remember, I was talking about how you need to check to make sure that, you know, your all your stuff is fine and dandy. This will tell you your volume's main name. You know, you named it, so you should know it. And it's going to tell you your two uh, pools and what, you know, RAID Z, etc., etc. And it's going to give you your G part IDs. It can be very useful. And then, of course, your pool, FreeNAS boot. Okay, it looks like resilvering is complete. Power down the system. in and rebooted and then uh, have my sweet and lovely FreeNAS back. It's a really simple process and easy process to do and uh, especially having enterprise grade software and hardware it really helps with uh, 
the redundancy of things and how long they last and them being on constantly. So I'm just gonna power this guy on. We will watch as the code goes flying by. Oh, and I gotta plug it in. Wouldn't want to try to power something on and it doesn't uh, doesn't work. I'd look like an idiot. Level the power supplies out. And... 